what's up gemini gang what's happening you guys let's see what's going on today all gemini placements take what resonates with the rest take it how it resonates with you and your situation okay personal readings are in the description uh, box hit those likes hit those likes hit those likes Hit that subscribe, y'all know what it is. So we have flirt, mm -hmm. a bunch of other stuff as well. So um, also my social media is in the description box. I have no other social medias, okay? All right, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> I need to get those March readings out too. Just thinking aloud. <laughs> All right, we're seeing codependency here, so there could be a codependency. Y'all disregard my voice. I am losing my voice, but I'm going to be sipping on my tea <clears throat> so I can avoid it. Okay, what is this down here? Okay, so we have make the effort. Fell out as well. Is this, what's, is this what we're doing today? What is going on here? Spirits. Let's see what's going on, you guys. Let's see what's going on. There we go. So we have getting to know each other. Oh, there's that forgiving and learning. Mm-hmm. What do we have over here? <sighs> we have unrequited love over here, and we have finances and career uh, on the bottom of the deck. So, interesting. Someone may be having some type of financial stuff going on. You have some financial stuff going on, uh, Gemini. Someone is wanting your forgiveness. Could be a Scorpio for some of you, an Aquarius, the King of Swords here on the bottom. Yeah. Someone wants to mend something with you, make it right with you, Five of Cups, because they have some type of regret for how they were towards you, how they treated you. For some of you, they may have let their life troubles or whatever was going on in their life, um like affect y'all's connection so if they were having like a hard time say they're having a hard time financially right um they may have been like taking that out on you without actually like telling you what was going on you know kind of left you in the dark or left you to kind of wonder what was happening uh gemini's the chariots could be a cancer for some of you Mm-hmm. So we have heavy water so far. I feel like someone is wanting to like kind of get out of their comfort zone as well. Uh you may deal with someone that is six of oh, you're gonna get an apology from somebody. Oh wait. <laughs> and they coming in big stepping. Some of you might get a public apology. And I mean like something posted on social media. Six of cups here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, then you may also have somebody here, too, that like has other people telling them to like make things right with you or fix things with you or apologize or whatever. Um, Gemini's. I feel like you may be dealing with someone that never really opens up to people. And I feel like that's that's kind of what you've been wanting. And it's, it seems as if they this is what they. Yep. Some of some of you, they're having a money problem. Someone's on the verge of eviction. The Queen of Pentacles is under the uh, Eight of Swords. So, yes, yeah, for some of you, this person's having a money problem. You might be doing better than this person financially as well. And they may feel like they can't really, like, do anything for you financially. Gemini, take it how it resonates with you. Four of Wands, it could be facing some type of eviction or something. Or something going on with their home or their house. Um, Gemini's okay so take that hot rest dates with you but yeah I feel like somebody does want to apologize and they may even be telling other people this as well like either other people are telling them like you, you need to apologize to Gemini and make things right or they are telling other people like I'm going to apologize to Gemini I'm gonna you know make things right with Gemini or they'll some of you are gonna legit get like a public apology from someone um for whatever happened between you two. Mm-hmm. Four of Wands. Someone may need a place to stay, uh, Gemini's. Now that's that's number one. That's that's not gonna resonate with all of you, obviously. Um, but I feel like someone here may be seeing you as like uh like soulmate vibes. 
um but i also get to someone wanting to like live more in the moment uh not overthink not um not worry so much about uh the future uh if you or this person may suffer from anxiety as well it could be both of you uh that is that kind of suffers from anxiety so either this is a, the person on your mind or this is something that needs to happen between you two as far as you guys um Learning how to live more in the moment and not think so much about the future, right? Of course, you need to look. You need to think about the future, but you need to have a balance between um, what's now and what's in the future and what's in the past, right? Um, so I feel like the heavy soulmate here with the four of wands because that is the eleven eleven card because it looks like eleven eleven on the card. So, um, like I said, someone feels like you are. Uh, their soulmate again they may tell other people this too like you know Gemini is my soulmate you know I mess things up with Gemini um, or whatever the case may be the strength card could be a Leo mm -hmm. yep I'm seeing the death card uh, the nine of cups and the hierophant so I feel like some some of you ooh, knight of cups on the bottom some of you guys aren't going to be single much longer some of you about to get into a relationship mm-hmm <laughs> y'all I keep seeing sixes here what was it was a six of cups when this came out on the six of wands now we're seeing the six of pentacles so ooh, I told you guys that depending on what where the hangman is next to can can signify begging and I kind of got that in yesterday's read yesterday's collective read um some of you may get like a legit public apology or a, an apology in front of other people um, or something that involves other people in some way, shape or form, um, Gemini's. But someone is really, really, really about to like surrender. And again, this you're surrendering when you are begging someone, you're surrendering. <laughs> I mean, it's like all pride is gone at this point. Um, Gemini's and I feel like this person has kind of been like standing firm too, like not really giving you what it is that you've been looking for or what it is that you wanted It's you know as far as if you wanted an apology you wanted this person to be accountable or whatever the case may be I feel like this person had been kind of standing firm in that but you stood on business too though okay so I feel like yeah Gemini's you stood on business and um now they're like okay now I could for real lose Gemini you know, if I don't, if I don't get my shit right, if I don't get my shit together. <laughs> some of you are also ignoring somebody. You block somebody. Might be some legal issues going on too uh, for someone. <laughs> so seeing the devil card, the devil flipped out over here. Uh, with the four of wands or the two of wands but the death card flipped over so i want to take that one and the nine of cups is under there again i told you some of you guys aren't going to be single much longer now take this out of the equation i feel like there's some type of change in this person's financial situation or they want this like this person wants um some type of change to happen uh before they move forward um, or they wanted that. So for some of you there, um, someone's getting out of their head. This is what I see in a nutshell. As far as, you know, thinking they don't have enough or thinking they can't do anything for you uh, or whatever the case may be. I feel like they're getting out of that, um, Gemini. It's like the blindfold is coming off. That's what I'm getting. And again, I kind of got this energy for you guys in yesterday's reading as far as you finally getting to the bottom of something. I feel like the blindfold's finally coming off. I feel like the delusion um, is starting to clear away because I feel like this person was kind of in la-la land. Um, Gemini's, I feel like you have grown a lot and you've evolved evolved a lot. <clears throat> and I feel like this person kind of expected, you know, what they always get from you. And I feel like you, you kind of, uh, I don't want to say you tricked them, but... <laughs> You, you did something di more different than what you normally do with this uh, connection, Gemini. So, you know, I feel like you're putting them in a position to, they have to be the ones to patch things up or they have to be the one to make it right because you're not going to do it. 
<laughs> yeah, thank you for the confirmation. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups here on the bottom. So yeah, you decided you weren't going to try to make anything right with this person, uh, Gemini's. You were like, look, I want to let them come to me. Yep, Knight of Cups, and they will. And they and they will. You were like, look, don't let them come to me. I'm not going to say anything to them. And again, this could be vice versa, okay? You, you're finally going to reach out to someone. Um, but someone's been really, really in their head, thinking about you heavily, uh, like I said, I'm getting like some of you guys may get like something in from the, in the public, like the public eye, uh, social media or something um, from this person or there's other people involved in this apology or whatever. Holy shit, the full card. Y'all. <laughs> the two of pentacles. Yeah. Gemini's look. This person is going to want a new start. They may be like, look, let's let's start over. Let's date, you know, let's date, you know, and do it the right way. That's that's kind of what I'm getting. Like this person wants to start fresh. Now, I will say this because I, I mean, I will find out once I get to finances and career, but there may be still like a financial issue going on with this person um, or they may be wrapping it up. OK. Also, if this person has some legal stuff going on, they may be wrapping that up as well. You're nice. But I do feel like this person kind of wants to take their take their uh time with you. <clears throat> Six of Swords. Yeah, love it. Mm-hmm. Heavy healing. This person, yep, Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to know you. They want to know more about you. They want to know uh your ins and outs, your triggers. They want to know everything about you, uh, Gemini's. I'm hearing this song. Uh, he says, like, give me all of you. Give me all your shit. Give me all. What the hell is that song called? <sighs> Y'all, I'm hearing give me all of your shit. Give me all your bags, even if they don't fit. Give me all your good times and your bad ones too. Give me all of you. What the fuck song is that? Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna, um. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so look up Tank. If I remember, I'll link it, okay? Look up a song by Tank. He's an R&B singer. Uh, T A N K, and the song is called Perfect. Okay, um, yeah, so he starts off with, and uh, I'm looking up the lyrics now, so I, I had to think about the whole song before I remember what song it was. Um, it, the song starts off, You ain't gotta be perfect, but you're still worth it. And then he said, Oh, that's what he says, Give me all your past, give me all your shit, give me all your bags, even if they won't fit. Give me all your good times and your bad ones too. Give me all of you. I'll never give up on you. You got to know. Because if we give up, you'll never know. Hard times build character. Pressure makes diamonds. Angels are falling and it looks like I found one. <laughs> now, what I love about this is the course. Because he says, everything that's not perfect about you, I love. So I feel like <clears throat> Gemini's, this person is wanting to know like the ins and outs of you. The good, the bad. You know, the highs, the lows, everything. Uh, Gemini's. King of Swords. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now, again, this kind of makes me feel like, number one, someone could be assisting this person or they're getting some type of advice on how to do something from someone. Um, secondly, it's like someone wanting to do the right thing, like I said. And especially if they embarrassed you publicly, they may be trying to apologize. Um publicly as well uh gemini's or in front of whoever they claim ah yep ten of wands okay so yeah there is still a money problem going on here but um yeah see look at that <laughs> the eight of swords again yeah that's just that's confirmation um somebody's facing jail time too so okay take that high resume somebody may be facing some type of legal uh stuff Gemini. See, cutting the deck, I'm seeing the Four of Wands again. Could be something going on with their home, too. Like, someone's, like, on the verge of uh, getting evicted. 
uh, or needing to move or something along the lines of that. Gemini, someone may need a place to stay while they get their selves together or whatever. Um, Gemini's, but I don't feel like the money thing is going to be forever. Like eventually that will, um, that will grow and that will change. Um, if that makes sense. <sighs> but I do feel like some of you are going to get like, um, some type of, uh, a, a apology or a public apology or like, um, there's other people involved, I feel like. There's other people watching. That's that's kind of what I'm getting with this. Something on social media. Uh, you know, some type of public confession or public apology. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, or something in front of all your family, all their family and friends or whatever. Take it how it resonates with you, okay? Please take me back to what I'm seeing here. Let me shuffle these a couple more times. Wrap this up. I'm jealous I want you to myself. Mm -hmm. That could be why they act. They start acting funny. Um, especially if they feel like you moving on. <laughs> Baby, I'm ready by the vert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stop listening to your friends and family. Really? Now, this could be them. That's that's listening. That's been listening to other people. Mm -hmm. Take it how it resonates, though, Gemini. I love you. By Drew, by Drew Hill. Aww. Thinking about you makes me smile. I haven't seen that one in a while for y'all. <laughs> Everything I said was genuine. I see that in every reading. Every reading. These feelings for you I have no... These feelings I have for you are like no other. It scares me. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know. I'm alone but not lonely. <laughs> that could be you or them. Gemini's. If they're by themselves, you'll know. I just wasn't ready for you. I feel like for a lot of you, it was financially. They felt like they weren't ready financially. They still feel like they're not ready financially. I can feel you detaching from me. I told you. I told you, Gemini's. I wish I didn't miss you <laughs> by Angie Stone. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are detaching. But I said in the reading earlier, you just accepted the situation for what it was. Okay, this person needs to grow. They need healing. I'm not going to keep subjecting myself to the fuckery. And I feel like by you doing that, uh, Gemini's, I, that is going to draw this person in. But it also forced this person to change. Change some things and change some aspects about themselves. I'm doing my best. Please be patient with me. I feel like some of you guys, this person is going through some stuff. Could be legally, could be financially, could be both. Okay, so take that how it resonates with you. He can't love you by Jagged Edge. Or she can't love you. Take it how it resonates. Always take these how they resonate. Take. Where the fuck is my hands? Where are my hands at? <laughs> clap, 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 clap for my damn self. And this is going to be my last card too. Take that picture slash post down. Now, something, I told you something is very significant about social media here. Okay? Hit those likes, Gemini's. Hit those subscribes. Thank you for watching. Peace out.